a ray of light coming from the point 1 comma 2 gets reflected from the point q on the x axis and then passes through the point r 4 comma 3 if the point s h comma k is such that p q r s is a parallelogram then h k square equals to a ray of light coming from the point p 1 comma 2 gets reflected from the point q on the x axis and then passes through the point r 4 comma 3 if the point s h comma k is such that p q r s is a parallelogram then h k square equals to now ray of light is coming from point 1 comma 2 gets reflected from x axis at point q and passes through point r then there is a point s such that p q r s is a parallelogram what is the approach to solve this problem or, or what are the concepts we are going to use to solve this problem now the first concept we are going to use is the familiar one that in parallelogram diagonals bisect each other so midpoints of p are equals to midpoint of q s and since we have here reflection we know that slope of q r will be negative of slope of p q because angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection slope of q r will be negative of slope of p q now these two concepts we use to solve this problem so let's go ahead first get that angle there theta between q r and x axis and p q and x axis then we can find out the slope of q r and p q and what is the slope of q r tan theta equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 slope of q r equals to tan theta equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus 0 3 minus 0 divided by 4 minus x what is the slope of pq slope of pq is tan of 180 minus theta which is equals to 2 minus 0 divided by 1 minus x tan of 180 minus theta which is equals to minus tan theta why 180 minus theta because the slope is always with respect to inclination and inclination is the angle between the line and the positive direction of x axis measured in anti clockwise direction so the angle for qr is theta whereas for pq the inclination is 180 minus theta so tan of 180 minus theta minus tan theta equals to 2 by 1 minus x equating both of them we tan theta value we get 3 by 4 minus x equals to 2 by x minus 1 we can simplify that 3x minus 3 equals to 8 minus 2x or 5x equals to 11 x equals to 2.2 now let's go to the next concept we are going to use that the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other therefore midpoint of pr equals to midpoint of qs what is the midpoint of pr midpoint of pr is given by Four plus one by two comma three plus two by two and that is equals to midpoint of QS which is equals to H plus X by two comma K by two. E comparing the x coordinates equating them we have X plus H by two equals to five by two which will give us X plus H equals to five but we know that already x equals to 2.2 x is 11 by 5 that is 2.2 therefore h will be 5 minus 2.2 that is equals to 2.8 h equals to 2.8 that can be also written as 14 by 5 now equating the y coordinates we get k by 2 equals to 5 by 2 or k equals to 5 what we need is hk square that is equals to 14 by 5 into 5 into 5 5 and 5 cancel out hk square is 14 into 5 70 so to solve this problem the concepts we have used is one the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other and the second concept is since we have reflection here 
we have slope of QR equals to minus of slope of PQ. These two conditions helped us to solve this problem and find out the value of HK square.